Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, it's Kaiser. And let's talk some Star Wars, because, um, yeah, more information has been coming out lately in regards to the upcoming Ahsoka series, premiering August 25th on Disney+. Plus. And, well, if you were expecting anything good to, uh, come out of what we're about to talk about well i apologize in advance because um yeah it looks like uh, old dave filoni is up to his usual tricks of being a complete and total just idiot i, I don't know how else to really explain it and just the the picture of him here with his gumlessly just like squishy faced expression of I have no idea what I'm doing. It really kind of says it all. Yeah. Uh, well, let's uh, go ahead and explain what we're talking about here because, uh, yeah, there's there's quite a bit to get through, and I don't want to take up a whole lot of your time. So let's get into what is being said here. So Dave Filoni on Ahsoka Tano's character in Ahsoka, quote, she walks a path that basically died out a long time ago. Oh, boy. Lord have mercy, this is going to be a rough one. Dave Filoni revealed re is like that Ahsoka Tano's character in the upcoming Ahsoka show is able to go her own direction. And that she walks a path that basically died out long ago. Hold the frick up. Okay. Y'all, there was a time whenever I was in ooh, middle school when I liked to write. I enjoyed writing a lot. And this right here, what he's saying, just right here, sounds exactly like those kinds of uh, middle school level writing projects that you might have done where your character is uh, is a loner that goes their own direction and that uh, they they walk a path that nobody else has walked for a very long time and they're they're so cool and a loner and they're edgy and bleh. oh god yep this is the uh, this is the what we've got to look forward to, folks. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of this. I have a feeling. So he told the outlet the biggest challenge was a whole bunch of the audience that know her and a whole bunch that don't. Gee, I can't imagine why because you've just taken this character that was in an animated series that came well after the original trilogy, like. 30 years at or 30 to 40 years after the original trilogy came out and decided you were just going to shoehorn this character into everything. Can you tell I'm not really uh, looking forward to this one? Uh, quote, she has one foot in the Star Wars that a lot of people know because her connection to Anakin, and yet she's all new and could go her own direction in her own way. I think that makes her a more interesting bridge between what came before and what really is possible, he added. Oh, I'm going full nerd voice with this because there's no other way to explain this absolute crap. This is just ridiculous. Uh, okay. As for Ahsoka in the show, Filoni told Empire, quote, he's a wanderer at this point, and he's in a lot of ways wary of any organization, such, uh, because of the power that comes with it as a group. God. This just gets worse as I read it. Uh, yeah. While she might not consider herself a Jedi, Filoni does note, she walks the path that basically died out a long time ago. And there's nothing many, or there's, and there's, there aren't many like her left, if any. So, that's a lonely thing. What is it, that life like if you're a loner? You have like very small circle of friends. 
what is it like? Then you would try to open back up. I'm like, oh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to lose my mind. Uh, anyway, I'm going to skip through a bunch of this uh, self aggrandizing tripe there. Because this is not exactly just what we're go going about there. This isn't the crux of our whole argument. Let me be honest. There's some bigger news at hand here. But yeah, that was kind of a preface to exactly what we're in for. Because, oh boy howdy, after all the times we've been told, apparently, that uh, Ahsoka isn't a Jedi. She doesn't want to train anybody because she saw what happened in the fall of Darth Vader or Anakin Skywalker to becoming Darth Vader and she doesn't want that and she doesn't want to because she's too cool and stuff and nope they're going to retcon that because now Ahsoka teaser trailer appears to show that Dave Filoni is retconning Star Wars Rebels. So he's retconning his own show, his own canon for his own purposes because reasons. You stupid. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and just jump into this one, shall we? A new teaser trailer for the upcoming Star Wars Ahsoka appears to reveal the series creator Dave Filoni will be retconning his own Star Wars Rebels series. The official Star Wars Twitter account shared a new teaser that shows Ahsoka Tano training Sabine Wren how to wield a lightsaber. There's apparently some other stuff going on there. Blah, blah, blah. Let's just skip to the part that actually we care about in this case. Not only does this new teaser seem to indicate that Filoni is retconning his own work with having Ahsoka train Sabine Wren, but it further fuels the theory that Sabine Wren will attempt to become a Jedi or some kind of pseudo-Jedi under Ahsoka Tano. Oh, boy. The series' first trailer hinted at that possibility when Sabine informs Ahsoka, you've never made things easy for me, Master. Hmm... When Sabine informs Ahsoka, you never, you <laughs> quote, you never made anything, you never made things easy for me, Master. Oh. Yikes. How about new? Oh. Yep. After Ren calls Ahsoka master, the trailer cut to a scene of Sabine watching a hologram of Bridger. That's Ezra Bridger, I'm assuming. I don't know this series. I've just been picking up on stuff through the news. Anyway, quote, As a Jedi, sometimes you have to make the decisions that no one else can, but I'm counting on you to see this through. Okay, yep. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. The idea that Dave Filoni would retcon his own work should not come as a surprise to anyone who has followed his comments about Star Wars canon. Speaking of, with Screen Rant uh, at Star Wars Celebration this past April, Filoni said, quote, People get into all these debates of what is canon, what's not, and sometimes forget just the special nature of telling those good story and creating good characters. Part of the fan, fan debate is that uh, the past always used to be what's canon. What, what, sorry, it's hard to do the voice. Part of the fan debate in the past always used to be what's canon, what's not. Because there was George and we always knew George was canon. I look at it very broadly and just say there's a, just a love of Star Wars. Because I knew George, I work with him, none of us are going to be him. But we love the status he created, we're very much a product of it, growing up with it, he included. Uh, uh. What Filoni misses here is that the Star Wars universe does indeed have a history, and when you violate that history, you change the history, he ruined the immersion of the viewers. 
None other than J.R.R. Tolkien explained this idea in his essay on fairy stories. Quote, what really happens is that a story maker proves a successful sub-creator. He can make a secondary world which your mind can enter. Inside it, what he relates is true. It or, sorry, it's true. It accords with the laws of that world. You therefore believe it while you are there, as it were, inside. The moment disbelief arises, the spell is broken, the magic, or rather art, has failed, he continued. You are then out of the primary world again, looking at the little abortive secondary world from the outside. If you are obliged by kindness or circumstance to say, then disbelief must be suspended or stifled. Otherwise, listening and looking would become intolerable. Uh, but this suspension of disbelief is a substitute for a genuine thing, it, a subterfuge we use when condescending into games or make-believe, or when trying, more or less willingly, to find what virtue we can in the work of art that is for us failed. That was all the words of Tolkien. J.R.R. Tolkien. The, you know, Mr. Lord of the Rings himself. So, yeah. Dave Filoni is a total hack who just wants to basically uh, take his action figure. Dave Filoni is just a guy with action figures banging them together and making little, little stories during playtime in his head. But instead of that, he's now an adult man child, I guess you could say, who's basically just taking his uh, characters and action figure form and basically making up new stories. But, you know, none of them are coherent and he just wants to change the history as he sees fit on the fly. I honestly don't have any high expectations for this series. In fact, I think after it premieres, the it's going to have a pretty... I'm going to say it's probably going to have a steep drop-off. I'm just going to wager that bet now. And as we've seen, Disney is putting all their money and all their eggs into the baskets of these crap Disney Plus series that nobody wants to watch. And yeah... The stretch marks are starting to show, as uh, we've seen before, thanks to Secret Invasion and so, you know, She-Hulk. And, I mean, how many others do we even have to name at this point? I mean, the fact that they're still apparently going to release Echo, all six episodes, on one at one time because they just don't want to have people remember it for six weeks. They just want to shove it all out there and hope you'll forget it. Yeah, apparently all that's still okay because Disney bleeds $512 million on streaming services as Hulu and Disney Plus prices soar. Yep, they're ra as I said in my earlier video today, they're, they ra are raising the prices of Hulu, Disney Plus. So they're going to make you pay more money to watch these cut-rate, half-ass shows that are really just no good. And with apparently... Uh, Writers that are total hacks that decide that they could just retcon entire sections of their own established canon at will as long as people will pay them money to do it. So, yeah. That's kind of just where we're going to leave that one. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Again, I don't have high expectations for this series. Pretty sure that it is going to be a giant fail. I'm just saying, but... Well, hey, you know the old Disney motto. Don't ask questions. Just consume product and then get excited for next product. Oh, anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Definitely go down there, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I am very close to uh, my goal of monetization, finally. I am cruise I'm cruising through 500 uh, subscribers. I would be glad to subscribe, have any subscription that I can. I definitely want to be able to provide you all with good quality, amazing content, and I only can do that with your assistance. So, guys, again, please definitely go down there and subscribe. Hit the like. Pump up that algorithm. Show a little bit of, uh, you know, that uh, bell, a little bit of what for by ringing that bell notification. So that way you can be notified when I got new shows coming up. And I will see you all on the next video.
Peace.